tell me a little bit about yourself before I start the the terrible questioning. Yeah, uh, well, my name is Nick Bailey. I'm 19. Uh, from Alabama, and uh, I have an album out right now called Moments, and a new single I just dropped called Dance in the Moonlight. And uh, my whole family has done music for ever, like all the way back from uncles to aunts to grandfathers to, and my whole family is just musical. And uh, I play guitar, uh, drums, piano, um, sing, rap, dance, I do hip hop. Um, I'm actually a hip hop teacher. And uh, yeah, and uh, just a whole musical family was just kind of passed down to me. So I really grew up like in the music world. Okay, so you started playing the drums at the age of four. Did you try to do anything else aside from the music after you dis discovered rhythm and beats? Um. Yeah, it like really started with drums. And then uh, like towards like seven, that's whenever I started the dancing. And then at about 13, that's when whenever guitar came. Um, singing, I always sang, but like seriously, that started at like 16, 17. So with that, which was more difficult? more difficult uh probably guitar why because you have to you have to uh just like pressing on the strings really hard like whenever you first start you just gotta get used to it and mm -hmm. so that was probably the one that like took the most time to work at but everything else was like i just picked it up that's unique that's interesting because you must be mad talented like you kind of like that genius that catch on with everything on the first try so and speaking of just being a genius tell me about your life who helps to emerge and coax out the creative uh inside of you like that 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 creative voice or element that's allowing you to do all these fascinating things um well my mom is super supportive uh my uh yeah my mom's super supportive um and then my rico uh he just <laughs> the fly yeah, on the he, wall <laughs> yeah the fly on the wall he uh he just picked me up and really taught me the business of everything and uh my engineer matt D'Amico, he's uh he's super cool he helped me with the whole project and uh my producer latoya she uh, we just all feed off each other and just have fun and uh, so the whole team really just, we just have fun and connect together and uh, really go hard at it. You know what I like? Um, that you're a composer. That's number one. You're very unique. So, and then we get ready to get into this about your singles. You could be the one that's rap, dancing mm -hmm. in the moonlight, in my opinion is a pop, but you may consider it a different genre and just want to know which is R&B. It, one might say it's a little risky to tap into so many elements, but why were you driven to do it? Um, I, I want to do something different and just show that I could do all styles. So that I didn't want to sound like everyone else. I wanted to, like, whenever people listen to my stuff, I want people to be like, oh, that's Nick Bailey, not, you know, I don't want to sound like Drake or Bieber or, like, because they're doing their thing. Like, I want to be able to do my thing. And so I just went and really practiced all styles. And so whenever I did that, I started mashing styles together. So it just worked and we just went from there. Okay, what inspired each of those tracks? Um, so I really, um, so all of my songs are actually like not written on paper they're actually like freestyle so we'll go in the studio and just down the beat and then we'll freestyle the whole thing until we just nail it so i really just like i can just make up these stories and just this random side and then it just becomes this whole full song do you consider yourself a composer? And I've called you a composer, artist, or like mm -hmm. what? what is your box? Or are you outside the box? 
Um, both. I mean, all. I mean, I basically have the lead in like all of my music. So like, we all work on it together, and you know, the people I'm working with, they'll be like, "Hey, what if we do this or whatever?" But like, towards the end of it, like, I'm composing and putting it together and all that kind of stuff. Okay, I love that. So, who would you like to share the stage with? Um, who? Uh, uh, a lot of people. Uh, hip hop world. Uh, people like Drake. Um, be super cool to meet Wayne and uh, just like the legends of hip hop. Um, pop side. Um, probably. Justin Bieber, um, and then there's also an artist. Uh, his name is Akilah Roy. That'd be super cool. And uh, there's just a whole ton of artists: Ed Sheeran, um, Ariana Grande. There's there's a ton that like I really listen to because like I listen to like a whole variety of music. You don't want to dance or sing with Chris Brown? Oh yeah. Yeah, him too. Oh yeah, one hump. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That that be that be legit. Cause I could def definitely see your style performing with him just because you have a wide range. You're extremely talented. Like each song that I mentioned is a bop, but in a different genre. So that was like, okay, so how does your fan base feel about that? Um it's crazy because like on, on the project, like everybody has a different favorite song. But like, it's like a lot of people like Dancing in the Moonlight, but then like a lot of people like You Can Be The One, and a lot of people like I Just Wanna. So it's like a whole variety. So like, it's kind of like, hey, if you like rap, I have rap. If you like pop, I got pop. If you like slow, chill kind of stuff, I got that too. So it's like a whole variety for my fans. So they can, so basically I can hit each audience that I want to. Okay, do you do you get bored with the music scene now? Uh, no, not, no, not for me. No, I like, I mean, cause I'm constantly doing music all the time. So, I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm constantly in music. 100%. I can think it. Okay. So let's talk about your dream project. Like, is there something amazing that you absolutely want to do along with the music? You're doing other things now, so I, I'm pretty sure you just mm -hmm. don't have a limit. Yeah. Um. I mean, like, I want to be to the point where, get to the point where I can work with artists and get features on a project and do like movies and commercials, TV shows, and just really branch out. So like documentary stuff or really just put on like super big, cool. <laughs> so what was the most, and then this is getting into the industry, one of the most, you're 19, but you're doing a lot. So what is one of the most challenging things to get your music out there? I know you have a team now, but before you got a team, what was that? What did that look like for you? Um, I was sitting in my room, like messing around on GarageBand. And then uh, just, I started trying to rap. It wasn't, I was trying to sound like everybody else, like trying to find my sound. So I was working on GarageBand, didn't really have anyone working with me. So really it was just working on GarageBand and then like post up like on YouTube, just like this GarageBand track that didn't sound good. Mm -hmm. So uh, then after that, it just, I was really taught and shown how to go into a studio and how to do all these things to God to where I am now, so. That's wonderful. So you believe that education still, like re continuously educating yourself with your craft is important? Yeah, 100%. Okay, 
So the pandemic, how did you sustain last year? Um, uh, everything should have been online. So everything, uh, really, really, I took that time to like just make a ton of music because I wasn't able to travel and all that kind of stuff. I really like sat down. I was like, hey, let's work on a pro project because I only had, you know, two, three songs actually recorded, recorded. And so I felt like I needed more stuff to show people what I could actually do. So we went into the studio and just worked on that whole album. Okay. Which one of your songs from your album describes you best? Um, that was good. <laughs> um, good. That was good. Shoot. I don't know. There. I mean, like, there's so many, like, different elements on it that, like, the upbeat songs are, like, whenever I'm going to dance, go have fun. Like, rap songs are like hey i'm showing you i can do this too and then i don't know man there's i mean there's just a lot of different elements to it so it's just like i mean i'm super outgoing all the time though so probably like i'm just always super upbeat laughing all the time so yeah okay i can dig it somebody's like i'm stumped yes so <laughs> So, is there any females that you want to rap with? Like, who is the top female that you want to rap with? Mm -hmm. uh, thinking. Uh, yes, another well, one. Probably, <laughs> probably, <laughs> probably, uh, yeah, yeah. Probably uh, Megan Stallion. I can't hear you. What'd you say? Sorry, I have to tap the mic. My dogs are turning up, okay? Oh, you get it. <laughs> I said, why Megan the Stallion or Meg the Stallion? Um, I don't know. Her flow is just, she always, bro, she always come hard at it. So, that's definitely probably one of the ones you know is always want to work with. Do you like uh, Bia? I love Bia. Bia. Mm -hmm. uh, to be honest, I don't think I've actually heard of her. What? I need you to get into Bia. It. Like, Bia. And, and hit yeah, I'm going to huh? check that out. I'm going to check that out 100%. For sure. She has a totally different rap style than Meg the Stallion, but it's closer although her her uh cadence is lax like very relaxed but she's mm -hmm. very hardcore you know which is different than meg but still um who is it Nicki minaj just remixed a whole lot of money with with that song that's her song do you know that song if i probably heard it yeah i'm gonna need you to get into that and then tell me what you think afterwards and then tell me who you want to perform with okay I'm going to look that up. <laughs> so, old school remixes, which would be your top remix that you, rap song that you would remix and pop song? Ooh. Uh, hmm. I don't know. That's a, that's a wide, uh, man. I'll probably do, uh, I'll probably shoot for like an Ed Sheeran song, maybe, because it's like his beats have that, have that pop rap kind of feel on it. Mm -hmm. So, and then, uh, I don't know, that Justin Bieber, that Peaches song. I like that song. That <laughs> one, may I, I could, I could see that. The Beeb always come through with some hits now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, like, if you could redo your last year, mm -hmm. any parts of it, what would that be? Uh, honestly, just being able to travel. Like, but I think, but I think, like, last year, like, I was able to like sit down and think and learn everything before just stepping into the door and just rushing and 
doing all these things that I didn't really know how to. So I was able to sit down and learn everything I needed to know. Mm -hmm. So also able to work on the album. Okay. That was. So have you learned any of the business aspect of what you're doing? Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. And why was that important? Um. Well, I mean, before I didn't know anything. Like, I was just making music, and then just like a lot of people, you know, you just make music, you can do shows, and then, oh, that's it. But really, there's radio side to it, and then you got encoding and making sure your stuff is all copyrighted, and then all just all this stuff, BMI, ASCAP, just all the stuff that I didn't know about. And so there's a lot of there's a lot of paperwork that I didn't know about. And uh, it's like super important to have that stuff. So I was like really able to sit down and just learn how to do all that. So that was like super important. So what like because you have so much going on, mm -hmm. what is the balance? What does balance mean to you? Balance, I mean, um, I mean, so really it's like this day I'm going to record and then this day I'm going to do pictures for whatever. And then this day I'm going to do these interviews this day, you know, I'm going to go with my family this day. I'm going to go to church this day. I'm going to just feel like really it's just like planning everything out to like make sure I have time for, you know, everyone, you know what I'm saying? So. I, I'm still tripping off you being a freestyle artist because I just gave you three songs, totally three different genres. And if you felt, it felt like you were deeply like married to each song. So to tap into those layers, that's crazy. I feel like you're a dope dude. Um, you make banging yeah. music, even for me and I'm old, okay? So <laughs> <laughs> what is your, so what er, what music do you have that's on the radio now? And like, where where are you specifically? So, right now, uh, one of my songs called January was on in New York, and then another one called Holy Matrimony was over in New York too. And was uh, on a station up in Philly, Philadelphia. So right now, that's it right there. We're branching out to other stations to really just circle it because like i mean really looking at it though it all happened kind of fast like people were just calling us like just hey you that kid <laughs> like yeah <laughs> so i mean it's super cool though yeah. it still should have been flattering though right oh yeah cool yeah it was <laughs> super dope like just like hearing the reaction from people it was just crazy because like i said i went from my room and garage band to like really doing stuff mm -hmm. so it was super cool to like the reaction of like oh you got better like, and i was like oh yeah and so it was it was really cool to hear that okay and where where are you right now like where are you from i'm from alabama like so i live like in a small town called pharaoh it's like right next to Mobile. Mm -hmm. What's the music scene like where you're from? It's actually good. Like it's actually it's actually really good. There's a there's a actually a lot of live bands that play out. There's a, um actually we've had a lot of artists when I started coming out of Mobile, like uh Young Blue from Mobile and then uh Low Millie's from Mobile, pretty sure. And then uh so like we've had we have a couple artists the music scene down here is really good, actually. Okay, out of all the, and I love asking this question because everybody usually has their own unique experience and lessons that they learn. So yeah. what lessons have you learned that you can help uh, another artist that's coming into the game? To just show them everything I've learned. I just, you know, teach them all the business aspects I've learned, teach them, you know, Whenever you go to the studio, you know, we need to do this, this, and this. And, you know, we need to make sure that everything's mixed and mastered right and just basically just pass on everything I've learned. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this is my last question. 
because you're pretty easy. You're like, listen, I ain't got time to be telling you my life story, lady. But <laughs> <laughs> where can our viewers follow you and download your music? And then, cop, do you have any other projects coming out behind this, or are you really focused on this project? Uh, right now, it's just this project, but I also make songs all the time. So there's no telling what's coming. Um, but uh, you can find me at Nick Bailey Official on Instagram, Nick Bailey Official on everything, and then uh, Nick Bailey Moments album. It's out everywhere on all platforms. The album, like, I didn't listen to all the songs, but, like, several. You got, like I said, you're extremely talented, so I definitely want to see more of you and hope to have you back here soon just to talk about what you've done since this interview, if that's cool with you. Thank you, yeah. One most definitely. Thank you. Hey, something feels right When I'm with that girl and dancing in the Oh,